Right guys, very quickly, we're running very short on time, but I came up against the towel and I got tabled at the end. We went Sorry, last until the later turn very four. Lucky not to have you stopped turn up in turn two when it would have helped. Yeah. Instead of turn up in turn four when everything else was dead. Yeah, all my stuff just refused to turn up, but yep, table, that's game one. We'll see how game two turns out. Alright guys, game two, we uh, drew up against the white stars. We managed to make it all the way to turn six. Darth Vader decided he'd walk into a flaming wall of death by himself and uh, died from the very last dice roll. That was hilarious. It was like he's using the force as I was rolling them one at a time, but failed the last one. And then I got tabled right on the end on turn six. So score of 11 nil. Lost that one. But then this tournament, why I'm here, it's not exactly for winning. So yes, this was actually a brilliant game. It was laughs and fun all the way through. So winner. All right, take it easy, guys. See you in a sec. All right, guys. Game three. We came up against Geeks 40k, and um, yeah. I got tabled, it was a very, very fun game. The uh, massive cigarette packet and little jowls infiltrating right on it and then dragging it back into a massive blob. It proved to be going very well for the guard, but then right near the end he snatched it as his commander come in and wiped out the blob with a help from all these other units. So yeah, it was a very, very fun game. Definitely play it again. Alright guys, going four, we drew the Orcs, really nice painted army, with the Stomper, really fun matchup, uh, the Orc Stomper could have done a lot better, it was, it was rolling ones and twos for move through cover, so it was taking forever to get from there to there before it blew up. So if it moved, he would have done a hell of a lot better. He ended up getting tabled 11-1. Vindicare Assassin was probably the funniest part of the moment where he just popped the war boss in the head and just exploded his head to smithereens. But um, otherwise, yeah, we'll look into game five, see where we stand at the end. Definitely a very enjoyable game. Alright game guys, the uh, last game was against another Tau on this same board that we was on last time. Uh, I didn't get tabled, I did lose obviously, 11 nil, so major loss again. Uh, all I had left was the primary Psyker and a Platoon Commander. They were hiding right in this building, you can't see, they were hiding in that building. But uh, yeah. It was, it was a fun game, I mean, Vader lost uh, in combat against the Tau commander, so yeah, otherwise we'll see who come where in the scores in a minute. Um, we managed to film all this bit and give all the awards out up there, this time we won't quit. There's tables in there, it's twice the size, it's been a fantastic event. I want to thank everybody for coming up to the event. Has everybody had a good time regardless of results? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good, that's the main thing. Um, we'll go straight into the awards. I know some of you got trains and that to get back, so I'll keep it as quick as I inevitably want. Uh, straight into painting awards. If you guys voted for these yourselves, we put them in. Uh, first place with a £50 voucher. Bear in mind as well, you will get 5% discount off our normal prices with these. These will work on the website. Any of these vouchers that we give out, you can spend them right now before you leave. If you haven't got what you want in, we'll order it in. If you want to use it on the website, the email addresses will be activated probably by Tuesday. Um, so you won't be able to use them on the website until Tuesday because we'll have to activate them. But very first one is Best Painted Unit, and it goes to James Faggot, so Frogart. <laughs> 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 and second one with another £50 prize. We get £50 for everything this time rather than just 25s. Um, best conversion, Simon Chatterley. And next one for best painted tank is Simon Chatterley. Whoa. <laughs> 
Next one is for best painted miniature, and this one goes to Nick Davis. And then the best painted army, which obviously we selected, I selected one army, I selected an army, and Dave selected an army, and the one that you guys voted for throughout all of them was the Alpha Legion by Alexander Alpha So that gets all painted things out of the way. We've got some spot prize awards to give before we go into first, second and third. Ace eventually will walk over. He's only short, it takes him a while. <laughs> In no particular order. <laughs> yeah, I know, they just put them together. Well, nice, a minute, guys. Yeah, yeah, So, I'm willing the guys who come down from Scotland for everything we do, whether it just be opening the shop or um, or turning up for games, <laughs> and they travel a long way to be fair, and they, they nominate a, or they give in a couple of prizes for us to give out. Um, one that we give out this time is the Ace Face Choice Award, the space to choose how he wants to, and we've given it for the best themed army. I think anybody can't argue with this. There's only one guy turned up dressed as a freaking storm trooper. And we got a box of them. Um, Excellent. What? No, yeah. Huh? Oh, we'll the other award that came in from from Will and the Ass was um, the Cheese Board, the cheesiest army. Last time we didn't put the cheese in the fridge and it all melted. This time the cheese did go in the fridge, but somebody spilled <coughs> coffee on the certificate, so the certificate got ruined. Um, but it doesn't matter, Will, because you're taking it back to Scotland with you. Oh. <laughs> 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 for all those rich ads, baby bell. Into the results for placings. There's first place, the second place, the third place. More importantly, there's last place. The guy who's got last place is starting to get a collection of spoons. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have to start colour coding them for you, Pete. Pete? <laughs> <laughs> So all these channels recording, you're dead good at editing, so you might want to take this bit out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Do you know what? We've got another spoon, Rick, you can have one as well. <laughs> 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 you know, so you yeah. <laughs> um, Tales from the front line, which is the best story that any of the TOs have ever told about what came out. And there was a <laughs> there, there was a riptide that um, uppercutted a brass scorpion and sent it flying across the table. That almost got it. But more impressively than that was a knight that blew up, went over a land raider, then went over something else, <laughs> went into then a warlord and killed that, so killed itself, killed the warlord, John Hope managed to do it. <laughs> you get a prize for best story, mate. <laughs> Right, into the points for the prizes. 
one day we're going to get this relatively polished. Um, third place, I need to know this. Um, so, third place, and it all changed massively in that final game. There was a few went in, and anyone could have won it. Some dropped, some went up. But in third place is, I don't know how to pronounce your name, to be fair, so I'm going to call you Sam. Because that's the way I know you. Second place, which was £100 worth of prize, um, has already taken this voucher because he had to fly. Um, but his certificate team, it was Richard Sims with Gene Steele Cult, which I think anybody that played him, including me, knows that's a tough army to go through, <laughs> to be fair. They just keep on coming back. Um, Michael, you're taking that up for him, aren't you? Congratulations to Richard and Aston. The winner of the Last Chance Open 2017, with a game mat of their choice, take any mat off the table, with exception mine, of not mine. a few of them, <laughs> <laughs> or if you want me to order one in, I can do that for you, um, came second last time, won it this time, is Dan Green. Only leaves us one prize left, which is arguably the most important prize. Um, mine. Why is this a difference over there? It's not here. Who is it there? Oh, Simon's that right, yeah. Simon's just causing trouble. Um, mine. It's not yours. It's not yours. Um, you can keep saying that all you want. It's fixed. You managed to make two players not turn back up today. <laughs> <laughs> So, points for the worst judge ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Spirit of the LCO, which is the player's player's choice. Player's player's choice? Yeah. You all voted for it, um, and with a, a maximum amount of votes it came through. Yes. Um, could be fixed, could be torn, it could be because he's a celebrity, or wants to be a celebrity. It was Mr. Lawrence Baker. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fifty pound voucher. It's a game match of your choice. It's a box of drop fleet commander and it's also the trophy for the spirit of the LCO. So well done Lawrence. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. So that's all the awards done, that's all the prizes done. Lord Vader. I have brilliant, these are the plans that you've been after. Finally, the galaxy is mine! Mm -hmm.